Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on The Flash Season 5. We've got some new news, and we've got a new synopsis for episode 12, so we're going to be breaking it all down, talking about it all in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so it is currently Sunday night, and... The Flash returns this very Tuesday, so please be sure to tell everyone that The Flash is back and obviously tell everyone that watches my videos or doesn't watch my videos. We're going to be reviewing the episode and going over everything that is revealed and obviously the trailer for episode 11, everything like that. So we're back in full throttle over the next few weeks because Supergirl and Arrow return the next week and yeah legends is not on for a while but we've got these shows so okay let's first go over this breaking new piece of news with a major returning new character this returning character is in fact joe west and jesse l martin is returning to the flash after following a medical leave and a while ago if you guys go check out discussing film their youtube channel i did an interview with the actress who plays cecile horton that being danielle nicolette and she talked about his situation and that he's getting better and now finally he's back and he's going to be next seen in episode 15 he's now back on set filming he took a medical leave due to i think it was his back and that's why the most of the scenes you saw him in season five he was sitting down because he had an injury that he couldn't really you know walk around do all the police stuff as he would normally do and so he's going to be back to normal and he's been released from you know medical leave and he's ready to get back onto the screen so we're going to be seeing him around and so apparently according to todd helbing he said there's an explanation and there's going to be another sort of thing down the line that will give more explanation as to why joe was gone for so long he also added i'll just say there's some technology that star labs has via which he's gone and he's not gone at the same time so you know that's kind of mysterious obviously there's going to be proper explanations as we head towards this episode in episode 15 so look forward to that that's just a nice little piece of news that we should all be very excited about because you know joe has been missing and although he doesn't play a massive part it's just great to have him back because we love the presence of him around and so let's go over this synopsis for season 5 episode 12 it's titled memorabilia and so this is very interesting and here is how the synopsis goes barry and iris look into nora's memories when sherlock wants to use a memory machine on barry and nora to help gain access to grace's memories nora panics fearing her parents will find out the secrets that she's been hiding from them nora secretly decides to use the machine on her own which ends in disaster after she gets trapped inside grace's mind barry and iris go in after their daughter and Iris is broken hearted by what she finds. Meanwhile, Ralph tricks Cisco into going out for a night on the town. Okay, so that is a very, very extensive synopsis. We don't know about a lot of this stuff, mainly to do with Grace. Some of you guys might be like, who the hell is Grace? Because, you know, she doesn't really get that much mention, but she had that one episode with Cicada. It is Cicada's adopted daughter and so this is kind of spoilery because we really don't know what's going on with grace because we haven't seen the next few episodes because in one of the promos they had a shot of grace and there was like an explosion in her room so something is going on and i do believe she's going to have metahuman human powers but we don't know what's happening with grace why they need to help gain access into Grace's memories via Barry and Nora. That's a little bit confusing right now because we don't have the spoilers. And so let's break it down bit by bit. So Barry and Iris look into Nora's memories. When Sherlock wants to use a memory machine on Barry and Nora to help gain access into Grace's memories, Nora panics. Okay, so Sherlock in this episode is going to be using this memory machine, right? To get into Grace's memories. But also I, have a feeling when I read this that it's to get into her memories as well into Nora's because Sherlock has a lot of evidence already against Nora and maybe this is sort of the step forward into how maybe what's going on with Nora is actually revealed and that's why she will panic because she probably has the idea that Sherlock's somehow onto her at, at least a little bit and so 
this will frighten her. And so, in the start of the synopsis, it says Baron Iris look into Nora's memories. So, this is in regards to most likely the scene in the future that we saw in the promo. So, maybe they are again splitting some of that promotional material from those various episodes. So, we'll have to wait and see as to what she turns out to be true. But it seems like when they're there, maybe it is in fact you know, Nora's memories that they're seeing, they're just there alongside of her, and maybe that's why she can't see them when they're literally standing right in front of her, so I think that's probably from that episode. And so, let's move on to the next bit, Nora panics, fearing her parents will find out the secrets she's been keeping from them. So this secret, and these secrets in general, is in regards to the reverse flash, because if Barry finds out about that, and if Iris finds out about that, they're going to flip shit, and that is without a doubt. If Barry found out that Eobard was working with his daughter, that is like the biggest betrayal that could ever happen to him, because Reverse Flash killed his mum, and so now with Nora knowing, she's going to be even more insecure about what she's been doing, because she just thought that they were enemies, but she didn't know the deeper meaning to their hatred for each other and now Nora is going to be extremely cautious and extremely scared of what's to come because she doesn't know if that's going to be revealed or not and so Nora wants to keep that as a secret and so in the next part of the synopsis it says Nora secretly decides to use the machine on her own which ends in disaster after she gets trapped inside Grace's mind so again we don't really know what's happening in Grace's mind, but maybe this links into maybe her having powers or something like that. Maybe she's just totally in a coma like she is. Maybe she's still in that coma, but she's able to use powers or, you know, that's just a bit out there. But so Nora goes in, it ends in disaster. And this disaster is that most likely she's just trapped in there, as it says in the synopsis and she's unable to get out and maybe it's all too overwhelming for just one person and so perhaps this has a sort of repercussion in the real world like is she gonna seize up is she gonna you know have a heart attack or something very similar to what they did in the musical crossover when everyone had to go inside their minds to actually free Barry and Kara in that musical crossover so it reminds me of that and how they actually on the outside were suffering but they had to go inside themselves to actually reveal and heal themselves on the outside and Monel and Iris had to actually go inside of their minds and actually come and save them bring them back to the real world and I think this is similar I think Barry and Iris when they go in as it says in the next part of the synopsis Barry and Iris go in after their daughter and Iris is broken hearted by what she finds I think it's a very very similar concept. Barry and Iris are going to be going into her memories, into her past. I'm guessing they're going to find out a lot about Grace and what's happening and what they need to find, but she's going to find out stuff about Nora and it says Iris is brokenhearted, not Barry. So I'm guessing they won't find out about Reverse Flash in this episode if they're not included that Barry is devastated and Barry's, you know, losing his shit or anything. So. I'm guessing this is probably to do with how Iris in the future treats her because we know we're seeing a future version of Iris, maybe we're going to see that and maybe we'll see the relationship between those two and also presumably about her childhood, maybe Iris being this supposed bad mother according to Nora, maybe she just leaves her to her own, maybe that's why she's always in the Flash Museum reading up about the Flash, about her father and she's alone. I, I think that could be what's broken hearted about her because that's specifically worded as broken hearted and that could suggest that this is sort of more emotional than it is like devastating like if we were to find out about the reverse flash. Okay, so let's move on and talk about the part, last part of the synopsis and this is meanwhile Ralph tricks Cisco into going out on a night on the town. Yeah, this literally has nothing to do with anything, this is just added in, so there's nothing literally to break down in this part, this is just like a 
little sideline story in this episode so yeah i can't really talk about it but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching this has been my flash video for today i'm sorry that there hasn't been a consistent amount of uploads over the past few days i've been really busy you know things are starting back and thank you guys so much for watching and the flash returns this tuesday so please be sure to stick around for that and i will see you guys later goodbye